Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Trove. I am playing as the knight because I have actually maxed out my gunslinger. <laughs> I wanted to actually level him up on camera, but I forgot. Like I'm like I forget everything. I'm actually going to do something special for my classes, which is gonna be funny. So I'm going to get him up close to level 30, but not level him up, and it's going to be all funny and whatnot. But what I'm go going to be doing today is I'm going to be giving away a stellar gun, the last gun that I have. Movement speed second stat, I don't know who that's actually good for, but to win that, just comment with your username down below, and I will pick at random to see who wins the gun. Hopefully, people actually use it because, you know, everyone's being a jerk and selling it. Not that I care, really. I'm, I get so many of these stellars. It's crazy. And the funny thing actually is that it's better for me, anyway, to get a Radiant Drop than a Stellar. Because more times than not, the Stellar will actually be a garbage one and no one will actually buy it. So, I'll end up giving it away, whereas a Stellar, I can deconstruct it because, you know, I don't need it and no one's going to want it in a giveaway. And I can just sell it for 30k or however much the Radiant Soul is. Now, the problem with Stellar is that Stellars only give one Radiant Soul, which is not worth it. Maybe if it gave, like, two or three, then yeah, it would be worth it. But the fact that it only gives one is, like... Dude, no. <laughs> I think it would have been cool if they actually would have somehow coded it to where it would, like, it would deconstruct into, like, two, like, um, two, like, I don't know why I can't even talk right now, but it would deconstruct into two Radiant Souls or something like that, but that would only happen if you got it as a drop, like, not if you forge it up, it would only do that if it was a drop. I think that would be nice, even though I don't think the devs would be able to do something like that. But, that would still be cool, and I can dream. I can dream for as long as I want, even though nothing will ever happen. Nothing that Jao says ever happens. It's just, I can dream. <laughs> That's it. Now, I don't actually have my class gem as a knight, and personally, I like the dash better. Because, at least I think anyway, you can get the dash off more times than the gem ability. And from what I've seen and heard from other people, the gem ability does roughly, if not the same damage as the uh, dash. So, and you and like you know, if you can do the dash faster, then why wouldn't you want to use it, right? So yeah, I'm just using it. I guess it would be nice just to have the power rank, but at the same time, my gem didn't generate with the best stats, so I really don't care. Just dodge that. No, he somehow hit me anyway. No, oh yeah, that's right. I'm in U9, right? Ooh, I leveled up. <laughs> I didn't realize I was that close to leveling, leveling up. Let's see what level I am. Nope, not XP, CP. I mean, not CP, XP. Jeez, what was that? Knight, stop attacking. Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> Remember when those things used to be, like, extremely overpowered and they would, like, one-shot you? Those were the days. That was hilarious. When they, like, the first day they added those, I think those things were so overpowered. They would, like, one-shot you no matter how much health you had. And I just thought that was so funny. Let's just right-click, right-click the victory, even though I don't really want to. Like, I'd rather dash, but, you know, I guess that works, too. I think, um, dashing actually takes up more, um, energy, which is why. <laughs> People prefer the stomping, the whatever this move is called, that move, you know, but whatever. I don't know if they do the same damage. Like, I don't know if the stomp or not stomp, it's not a stomp, like, whatever it's called. I don't know if the right click does more damage than the dash or if they do the same damage. I like that leg. Did you see that leg? I didn't even move, and it's like. We're going to teleport you down, and stuff happens. Look at all these skeletons. As if you could hit me. <laughs> Actually surprised on my FPS right now. Like, it's really good. Well, mainly because I've been doing things and what a Jow do, and yes, I've been, I've been doing what a Jow do, therefore my FPS, my firms, are decent. 
Now I should probably be dashing into the into these enemies more because as you can see when I right click it's actually doing a lot of knockback which is A why people stay away from him and B I don't know what B is I just wanted I just wanted it to sound cooler so I said that. So anyway, <laughs> let's just continue on and see if we can actually do stuff. I'm surprised that my knight is doing this well in U9. It hasn't taken me like two flasks to kill anything, although it might <laughs> right here. The knight's actually a good tank. I haven't really acknowledged it that much, but he does seem to be a good tank. And please lag. Don't hit me, leg. I don't want you to hit me, leg. I'm already in pain. I'm in pain from the stupid ping issues. That's another thing. I can't go into elemental worlds for the life of me. Like, the the ping issues, it's so bad. What is... Okay, that's two. It's so bad in non-elemental worlds that I can't go in Uber 7. I can't go in anything that's not an elemental world. Just because of the ping issue that's been happening... I don't know what's going on over there, but like at Tryon World, whatever their little fantasy land is, but I can't do anything in Uber 7, and that's where I get my moon key fragments, my fragments, so I can't, you know, I can't run my shadow towers and actually do stuff. And that only recently happened because of the stupid anniversary, so I don't know if it's just that more people are logging on, therefore like the servers are getting cluttered up or what whatnot. But yeah, this is stupid stuff. I think they've actually been trying to fix it with the because they have been releasing like server stability, but I don't think that would have anything to do with that. I'm just I'm just saying stuff because I'm hoping that anything that they put out would fix the problems that is, that have been having that have been having. Yes. <laughs> That has been going on, but whatever. Let's just keep going over here. Okay, I didn't complete this dungeon. I thought I completed this dungeon already for some reason. It looked awfully familiar, you know, just that familiarity, just stuff. I don't know, maybe it's because I've been in like 50 billion of these dungeons during my time of playing Trove. I don't know. I'm at seven flasks. Was I always at seven? I thought I was at more for some reason. For some reason. Look at my lawnmower sword. Look at this. He's <laughs> oh, that's funny. Granted, all the hits don't actually damage him, but I think I think it's still funny when that happens. It happens because if you have max attack speed, like a really fast attack speed, and if you dash and just hold a click, he starts attacking really fast. And it's actually, it's actually, what was, it? what just came out of my mouth, I don't know. It's actually really fast once you have the candy barbarian, like his alt, when he drops your ice, the ice cream cone because it gives you like the attack speed buff and whatnot. It's really funny. And it's so fast, the game can't even handle it. So like, it looks like the, the knight is dying like his arms are coming off because it's that's just how fast it is actually surprised and how fast I'm killing now look at this every time I dash into them granted when it's a crit it's doing major damage and I'm still missing a gem in gr and even more granted I don't have the best gems on my knight as you can see I'm missing one level 30 and I think I need to yeah I need to level these gems up some of them are maxed out like not wait yeah i don't have my knight's gem i think it's an air gem with not an air gem a water gem so it, it would probably be more powerful but i think my knight's gem is um a health gem it, like it's either that or my draculite i think my draculite's the one with the health gem actually i can't remember though it's one of them <laughs> one of them has the power to become a tank like, the Draculite. I don't even know if the Draculite is, like... Like, is he a tank or is he DPS now? Or is he just none of them because he's that bad? Which people are going to yell at me who main him, but whatever. Apparently, he's still really good for Shadow Tower, which I've only seen once, which... Which, which, which... <laughs> I still don't know because... Look at that. That's so weird. How it just teleports me when I'm not even moving. Oh, look. People. 
I see people. You want to be my friend? I want to be your friend. You be my friend. Ooh. <laughs> that generation, though. Remember, who remembers back when, um, these were, like, just, like, day one when these first came out? And you would always <laughs> spawn in the abyss and just die. That was the best ever. Like, I love that. It was so funny. And everyone was like, Dude, don't go to the air world because you're gonna die because the devs can't do anything right and you're just gonna fall into nothing. Unless you have Ganda, because Ganda is the savior of the game and you can't do anything without Ganda, apparently. What's that? Look, VFX from peoples from the outside. Ooh, let's go over here. I need a stupid cornerstone. If my draw distance wasn't crap, then I could do stuff. Which also explains my frames being slightly better. And yes, I say slightly, because it is only slightly. The only thing about this guy's dash that I've noticed is that it's really laggy. Like, you use it sometimes and it'll... Sometimes it won't do damage. And sometimes you'll just completely go past them and not damage them. And then other times... You will teleport like five miles away than you were originally. Like, <laughs> what? You'll like teleport five miles in a certain direction, in whichever direction you were, and I don't get it. Like, there's so much rubber banding that I don't wanna. Like, I don't even wanna. I don't want to do it because it's gonna make me cry. Like everything in this game. So let's kill this guy. At least we can almost one-shot those guys with a flask and a dash. I don't actually know if the gem ability would be stronger. I just don't use it because I think it's slower. I think that's why I stopped using it anyway because it's actually slower than the dash. Granted, I don't know if it takes more energy than the dash. That might be a thing. Like, if it takes the same energy as, like, a stomp. Which, if that was the same... Like, if that was the case then you would be using the right click more not the stupid ability and then again like people would be like well it, it phases through enemies and whatnot well the the right click does that too so what's the difference geez look how fast we're attacking and that's crazy i didn't know he had it in him the knight i didn't know his attack speed could get that crazy it's hilarious okay i'm gonna do this dungeon and that's gonna be the video because we're nerd. And we only have one more flask left. And thankfully, it's one of these dungeons. Watch this. Uh, yes, I did it, Mom. I killed them. Wait, there's another le there's there's another wave, guys. There's another wave of enemies. Yes, it's another wave. So we killed them. What's this? An S2. I'm getting garbage in in Uber Nine. I always get like Stellars and Radiance in Uber Six. But as soon as they come to Uber Nine, it's like nope garbage and then stuff so anyway guys that's going to be the end of the episode in the next episode i might give away another stellar if i if the jow feels that you guys are worthy for another useless stellar item that i can't sell then yes i will give one away maybe so that will be decided in the next video so see you later and goodbye